A game engine is a software that provides game creators with the necessary set of features to build games quickly and efficiently. A game engine is a framework for game development that supports and brings together several core areas. You can import art and assets 2D and 3D from other software such as Maya or 3ds Max or Blender or Photoshop. Assemble those assets into scenes and environments. Add lighting, audio, special effects, physics, and animations interactively and gameplay logic and edit, debug, and optimize the content for your targeted platforms. Number one, we're going to talk about graphics. Modern game engines can power stunning graphics and help facilitate the production as well as the importing of assets from different platforms so that you don't have to wait a lot of time with every import. For most games, game engines can provide you with architecture with overall high performance rendering capabilities and with access to the Fast Graphics API so that you can enable the greatest visual fidelity for your games. A major selling point of game engines is the impressive graphics that they can power, usually combined with the ease of production. 3D games are built around 3D assets which are usually created in an external 3D rendering program like Maya or Blender and imported into the game engine. Game engines which support a lot of import formats allow game developers to work in the program they are familiar with and import it to the functioning game without having to jump through hoops. Game engines also feature a slew of lighting technologies and effects which gives life to the assets you have added as well as handling the animation of such assets including crazy things like blending animations between running, jumping, shooting in a believable manner. Describing all the graphical features that a game engine provides would take a long time, but in essence game engines are all there to make your task as simple as and straightforward as possible. Developers then want to deal with converting their carefully crafted 3D models to cryptic formats, or manually building metadata to show them properly. Game engines do their best work when they make your creative output and spit it out on the screen without too much hassle. This combined with post-processing effects, terrain building and particle effects means that you can create an entire game world inside the game engine by combining assets from various sources. Number 2 Import One of the most important aspects of games is means to play it. So, uh, game engines usually support an array of input types, keyboard, mouse, gamepad, and touch are the main ones and any less common input methods being a subset therefore. There are many different ways to handle input but there are two common means which are events and polling. Input events work by the computer listening for some form of input. Mouse button pressed, keyboard, key release, joystick axis change, touch pressed, and triggering your custom code. This can be combined with a mapping table, which will connect keyboard controller or mouse button to named actions such as jump or shoot so that you can build your code without having to worry about the user wanting to play using a different layout than the one you build your game around. Polling is usually done when it comes to position values such as X or Y coordinates or the mouse. The game engine provides the means to retrieve these values whenever the developer wants to and it's up to the developer to react to changes in these values whether it be moving a character or changing the position of a custom mouse cursor. Number 3 Sound Sound is also an integral part of games. Despite being overlooked most of the time, unless the sound is terrible, in which case it will break the game, adding sound effects to the game isn't as, as straightforward as one might think, especially with the advent of 3D games. You can choose to design your own sound from scratch, starting with the musical composition, sound effects, voice acting, and ending with post-production. You can choose to purchase sound assets from asset focus platforms such as the Unity Asset Store or Unreal or any game engine that provides these assets, then combine them with the mix various ways. 
Sound effects usually don't just come out of the speakers as they were recorded by most game engines have the means to place the sound inside the 3D world which will modify the volume depending on where your character is relative to the sound. There are also a lot of ways to improve sound realism by adding pitch modulation to make it seem like the sound is bouncing off the walls of its surroundings. Take for example the sound of clashing swords out in the open field versus down in the depth of a dungeon and how it adds to the atmosphere if the sound reflect the world around them. Music and GUI sounds work differently as they are added without respect to a 3D position but rather are played as if the sound comes from the inside of the player's head. Obviously the engine needs to provide the means to adjust to the music to fit the mood of the game rather than just blaring it out in the full volume. Uh, game engines can help you integrate those sounds natively or through third-party apps so that you can focus on the composition of the sounds and placing uh, the sound creatively in the context of the game scenes, as well as assigning sounds to events in a way that suits your vision. Number 4. Networking. It has been decades since games started featuring online multiplayer and we are in the midst of the social gaming phenomena. A lot of players love connecting with their friends over games and apps, whether it be on PC, console or mobile. Uh, for specific types of games, networking require a lot of server power which can result in a lot of complex workflows and processes. Luckily, a lot of game engines have workflows, scriptable components and APIs in place that you can optimize however you want want for online and multiplayer. Number 5 Physics. The physics system in a game engine provides you with the components that handle physical simulation for you. You don't have to do all the hard coding by yourself, neither code every move created in the game scene by game elements or collision between your game components. Uh, game engines enable you to create objects that you can that can behave in a realistic way with just few lines of code. It wasn't long ago that realistic physics wasn't really a selling point of games, with most of them relying on their own crazy interpretation of how laws of physics work. Now there are more physics engines, these game engines are interwoven into a game engine to handle the complicated math needed to realistically simulate the real world. One of the things that, that are needed to understand is that physics isn't an integral part of rendering 3D game worlds. Despite modern game engines combining the two so that the end user doesn't have to be aware of the distinction, when you render a cube in a game, it's just a visual effect perhaps combined with light refraction to give it a sense that it's really existed in the world. But there are there is nothing inherent in the cube which says that it has to adhere to the physics laws. Uh, physics need to be added to the cube for it to react to gravity or being pushed or shot by a user. Handling physics is a processing constantly a process and only adding physical bodies to the object that need to react as well as making their physical shape less complicated than the visual one is a simple way to make a game run faster. Number 6. Physical User Interfaces GUI Most games have their own GUI that fits the game theme art direction and the, and the narrative. That's why a lot of game engines provide creators with tools to build their own graphics user interfaces such as buttons and drop down menus, sliders and means of combining different interactable elements. Different game engines handle the problem of GUI differently, with some ignoring the issue to altogether requiring developers to build the functions manually. This isn't exactly the hardest thing to do, and GUI pretty much is just is a list of text images which can be clicked on or selected using keyboard or gamepad. Number 7. Scripting a crucial part of game engines is represented by scripts which you can use to define a, the logic of your game components by adding behaviors. With a pre-built script, a solution provided by some game engines, you can easily control the camera, the relationship between your game elements, 
and the animation system which can be used to control character animation. Artificial Intelligence AI is a big part of the scripts or modules, behavior or whatever game engines provided with the most complicated ones giving you the means to dictate how characters react by building a tree of behavior nodes rather than having to write hundreds of lines of code. The scripts that a game engine provides comes down to how much it does for you, which can be a great help to get a game finished quickly, but also create a problem if you want to do something outside of the provided uh, functions. I hope this video was helpful and taught you something about how game engines work and all the functions necessary in order to create a game. Please let us know what you think in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next 